Hey guys, welcome to Software Secrets Day 37, I think. Day 37, and today we're going to talk about how to manage your developers. Now, once you get to the point where you're building your software product and you you know, have a develop a developer or multiple developers. Right now, with software funnels, we currently have, if you count the front end developer and our main manager, that's one, two, three, four, five. We have five developers working on software funnels. But in reality, we have three developers that are day to day working on it every single day. Now, you do not have to have three developers working on your project starting out. Okay, that's not required. We've started companies with just one developer, okay? But either way, whether it's one developer or many developers, you need to manage them well. So here are some tips on what I think you need to do to, to help you with managing your developers. You can call them programmers, you can call them engineers, whatever it is you call them. These are people, okay? And people have feelings, people have um, desires, people have, the people are people, okay? So when we are managing developers, we are very specific in how we manage them on Trello. Now when we have software funnels built, we're gonna be using the projects tool, which is just like Trello, very similar to Trello. We'll be using that and hopefully you will be too. But <clears throat> we are very detailed um, in our the projects and the tasks. We are very specific of what we want done. We never give developers more than two tasks at a time. Now in those tasks, they might have multiple things that they're doing, but they never have more than two tasks or two cards, two Trello cards with things to do. Everything else that we have ready in the pipe, we put it in an area where they can't see it because if you put everything you want done to get the project done, in a Trello board or in any kind of project management, you are in deep trouble because your programmers will get overwhelmed. They will start working on all different parts of, because they want to just work on whatever they want to work on. Huge tip with managing developers, only give them two to three, we, we try and focus on two, um, three every once in a while, but two to three tasks that you want them working on at a time. Now again, you can have multiple parts of the task, multiple things that they need to do, but never more, I'll make it easy, never more than two cards or two, air, whatever software project management software you're using, never more than two areas that they have access to, okay? Everything else keep in a separate project management board, okay? So that you can see it, but then you just move it over when they're ready for the next stuff. Next, if programmers aren't working as fast as you'd like, here's a tip. Communicate, okay? So tomorrow with, with um, software funnels, we are almost done with the whiteboarding tool and the wireframing tool, but we passed the date of the goal that we made when we wanted those done. So tomorrow I'm having a conversation with the programmers. I'm communicating with them, letting them know that they are working hard and we appreciate them but we need them to work a little bit faster, okay? There's nothing wrong with that, but just communicate how you're feeling. Don't get mad, and because again, these, these are people and they have lives and they have, just because you think it should be done at a certain time doesn't mean that's the reality. So keep that in mind as well. The, the main thing if you can pull out of the, today's video is to be mindful of other people's feelings, but also be bold in letting them know and communicating with them what you expect, okay? If you set the expectations, then there's nothing to get mad about, there's nothing to be um, overwhelmed about, there's nothing to be stressed about, and as long as you're communicating and setting those expectations for the developers, then you should be fine, everything should be fine. So communication, huge piece to the puzzle of managing developers and also never give them more than two to three tasks at a time. Hide everything else. Have it ready in the pipe, but hide it. Thanks for watching everybody. Like this video, share it with your friends and have a wonderful day.